Persona 3 Reload is coming out and I am so excited. This legendary JRPG is a long time coming and is easily going to be game of the lifetime. But there have been people out there who don't know what Persona even is. They might ask, do I have to play Persona 1 and 2 before I play Persona 3 Reload? No, don't. Don't do that. But that's exactly what I'm referring to. Some people just don't know. So today on Evermore Radio, we're going to have a short discussion on what you should expect from Persona 3 Reload. Let's jam. Now let's establish ourselves with the reality of the situation with Persona 3 and the Persona franchise as a whole, especially if this is your first one. The Persona games are long, the main three being 3, 4, and 5, and they will probably take you an average of 100 hours to beat. Persona 3 Reload, with all its added content, will probably be no different. Persona 3 FES back in the day averaged a little over 100 hours and about 80 hours if you only do the main story. This does not include the 30 hour epilogue DLC The Answer that you play after you finish the entire game. So yeah, I don't think you'll be able to finish this up in one weekend, even if you decide that you aren't going to sleep and if you don't eat anything. Now don't let all those numbers deter you however. You will have this game with you for a while and it'll definitely be a long one, but that doesn't mean the game isn't for you just because you can't roll the credits by Monday morning. You'll need a lot of weekends to get through it, but I know you can do it. The next thing you should know is that Persona 3 Reload will have improved combat over the original games. If you're a fan of Persona 3 like I am, I'm sure you know the combat for Persona 3 FES left a lot to be desired especially with the AI party members who never fail to find a new way to disappoint you and get you killed. But we are all now past the dark ages of Yukari saying I won't miss and then missing and then the game ends because we have a nice shiny new turn-based combat system which I for one am excited to dive into. Also if you didn't know the game has turn-based combat in it if you didn't know that, or if you don't like that, I'm sorry, I, I can't help you. Here's a huge toaster if that makes anything better. Social links in this game are finally getting improved and more content is going to be added where you can hang out with every person in the group and not just the opposite gender party member in C's like the old games did. I say this because in the original games, once you were done with the social link, that person was immediately your girlfriend because they told you that they loved you and Makoto does not say no. And you didn't have any social links with the guys because talking to guys is gay, I guess? But that's a whole different problem. Back in the early 2000s, when this game was developed and released, I believe Atlas assumed that you would only want to spend time with people that you were attracted to and then not spend any time with the people you weren't attracted to, which is once again another problem within itself. But since they are adding a platonic friendship option to the game now, you can decide who you want to go out with and who you just want to be friends with. That's all I wanted to say for now, I am so excited to finally play Persona 3 Reload. I hope I gave you some insight on a few things you should expect from the game. Thanks for watching Evermore Radio, be sure to like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you later. Let it go.